here they are together. I like this. Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Justy. Today on my never-ending quest to deliver new and fresh content, uh, we're gonna do a kind of like chord with me thing <laughs> is the best way I can describe it. <laughs> I'm basically gonna show you how I cord a Lolita outfit. Pretty excited to take you through my process. Do I think it's different than other people's processes? No, but that's okay. We're still gonna go through it. So I'm in my uh, Kristoff onesie to start so I can take you through the whole thing of selecting and uh, my thought process. This year I've kind of made a bit of a resolution to go outside of my kind of comfort zone I've developed with Alita to try new outfits. I do a lot of the same stuff and I get scared to try new things in case it's ugly, which is so silly. So to this year we're just gonna try new things, we're gonna make some ugly outfits, and we're probably gonna make some great ones too. Let's get right into it. The dresses are behind me. Let's take a peek. Everything's a little dark. I have one desk lamp in my room, no roof lighting, but um, my regular clothes are here and then at this kind of wall back there. That's where all my Lolita dresses start. Now, usually I either have a dress in mind from kind of the night before that I want to wear. I've thought of it when I know I'm going to do Lolita content. Or if I really, really am not sure, I'll just come through. I'll like take a brush through, remind myself what I have and like, what I would like to make. Now, I have already decided from last night, and I thought, what if we use my cute, angelic, pretty Rapunzel dress that has not really been worn much at all? I'm hoping the sports bra I picked today will get me into this, otherwise I'm gonna have to go uh, get my chest binder. But we are gonna go for this bad boy, and I thought, hey, let's make an all lavender cord. I've never done something like that, so. That's what we're gonna do. So as soon as I've picked, I usually lay it out on my bed so I can kind of see the whole thing and start putting other stuff with it. Now, next, I would usually pick a blouse to go with the outfit, but we are doing a one piece today, so no blouse. So my next big thing I usually do is my socks or tights because I'm so picky and such a, have such a hard time with those that I just kind of get them out of the way and base everything else on that. Okay, so we go back to the same closet and then just beneath the dresses, I have two stacked boxes. These are wrist cuffs and these are socks and tights. This is gonna be full real soon. I'm gonna have to uh, get another, so let's grab that. I've got it like balanced on my lap. Here is all my socks and tights. I've got them color coordinated together, except for this guy who just sits on top because he has never been opened. Um, so if we're doing a really lavender based cord, this has some lavender in it, but is uh, more navy than lavender and obviously way too dark for this dress. This is pink and blue. What I thought was these tights that I have never used that are very, very purple. Um, and if I get them out a bit, they have the moons and stars on them. And we've got a very like skyscape print on this dress. So let's go see if they'll work. Here they are together. I like this. We've got this purple, which will match here. We have exact moons in the print. I think this is gonna be great. I think it's gonna be a lot of lavender. But you know, I'm excited about that. Wrist cuffs are next, and you saw those in the box above the uh, socks in the same spot. But this is where we've hit a snag. I own own lavender wrist cuffs. <laughs> um, so we're gonna have to just go with my plain white for now, and we're gonna make this uh, white and lavender cord, but it's not gonna be just lavender anymore. I need to improve my wrist cuff collection. That's something I did notice while doing my wardrobe post. I didn't say it because I was talking about other things, but I really need more wrist cuffs. Just like not everybody sells them and they sell like all the same type of stuff sometimes. Anyways, we're not gonna get into that now. White wrist cuffs. There they are. This is fine. There's white in the dress. It'll be fine. It's not like a monotone or whatever I called it, but um, 
it's gonna be cute. I'm, I'm still feeling okay about this. Now, next, I usually grab accessories, which are over in a separate closet, which is now behind me. You can see some of them. Um, you can also see a fun bag. I did an unboxing on my Patreon for. So here is all of my accessory stuff. There is some like, these are more like everyday accessories and hair things, as long as my sunglasses are separate up here. Sometimes I use those for Lolita, but they're not actual like Lolita design, so I don't keep them with my Lolita stuff. <laughs> so we are looking for lavender or white, preferably lavender, but you know, I've got everything uh, together in colors again. So I've got, this is lavender, my sugary carnival. This is kind of lavender with some pink, my Hanuli. Um, I've got a white right behind it, which I think, oh, I've also got this lavender from my, uh, antique dress shop. It's really dark in here and I'm sorry, I'm doing my best. Um, okay, we're gonna take out this white bow and we're gonna, just to see, we're gonna take out the Hanuli one because it's it's very purple. There's pinks in the dress and there's stars in this, which I think will be really cute. Um, I've got other types of hair stuff like clipped around the edge, like stars um, and some of the clip-in bows. I think we're gonna leave some of these. I don't think we're gonna use any of the stars because they are silver and pink, which aren't bad, but we're not going for it. What else do we have? Oh, I have one big giant angelic pretty lavender bow. This one's a clip instead of a headband, so we'll bring that. I have a plain white bow as well. We'll bring it along. It's unlikely. That one's pretty rare that I use it. And we're back at the dress. Courting is a lot of back and forth for me because everything's all over the place. Um, But if we look at these now, this honestly, I like. This purple is a little dark, but there is some like darker purples in places and like in the prints like here. Um, and I think like up top, it's a bit separate. I might get away with it. The pink is the same, like pink as the various bows. Um, and it does have the little like speckles in it, which the dress also has. This lavender feels a little faded compared to the dress lavender. Again, I think we'd get away with it up top. Um, then, then we have white bow and white bow. I wish I had like a little white bow to put with. Oh, actually, wait a minute. I might, I might, one sec. Okay, now I have every other color of little bow, but not white, which really figures. I mean, I feel like we need some white on the head if I'm gonna do, cause I'll probably do white shoes. We're, okay, as much as I do love this and I would like to try this one day, we're gonna go with this bad boy so that we have some more white up on the head. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. I'm like sitting here looking at my box over there. Um, I wish again, there's another little lavender bow I could put with this or something, but this is, I think, too big. And it's like, it's pretty, I like it, but it's, it's just, it's a bit faded compared to the dress, you know? So we're gonna save it for another day. And this is what we're gonna go with. All the accessories are out. Um, I don't know if this counts theming wise, but God, they're cute in the purple, so perfect. So glad I picked these. We are gonna try for both bracelets and see how that goes. I will definitely need help tying this. If no one's home, I won't be wearing it. <laughs> um, all my purple rings, I will probably end up putting all of these on. Maybe not this one, cause it is a lot darker than the others, but we'll see. Um, here are the necklaces. This fan is so gorgeous by Moss Badger. I haven't gotten to use it yet and I would like to, but I just, I don't know if like the wood and the pearls really goes with what we going on. We don't got a lot of pearls anywhere. Um, so we might have to wait till next time. Now this has white in it, which I love. Um, this is very purple and like has like, this is in the blouse of the OP and we've got pinks and other places. So I think we're gonna try both of these, you know, go a little crazy. It might look strange, but you know, again, we're trying new things this year. So accessories are done. Next, I would pick shoes. Now, my shoes are under these dresses in the back in their boxes, pretty much, um, as well as actually I have a couple over here. Okay, my shoes are out um, and they're cute. I picked the ones with the heels instead of the flat ones. I thought it would just be nice for a tiny bit of height. Um, as for the purses, I think... 
I think we're gonna have to go with the white. I feel like we've got a lot of lavender in the outfit um, and just to balance everything, I think that'll be best. Now you're asking, just seeing why are you even picking a purse? Part of me creating these brand new cords this year is they have to be full cords including, including the purse um, to then be get a photo of. Okay, so that is my full cord. I didn't show bloomers. Uh, th they're in here. I just grab whatever pair. The ones I usually wear are being washed, so I'm just gonna go with this pair for now. They're longer, but I think it'll be fine if at worst I'll tuck them up. And the petticoat is down in my garage, which I'm not gonna bring you. I think this is supposed to be an A-line, right? These more baby doll, very loose open dress or A-line. I haven't used my A-line petticoat like at all, so we're gonna try that if it looks terrible. I'll use my bell next time. But that then is the full cord, exciting. At this point I get my, I put like all the under things on, which cause there's no blouse, is basically like bloomers, petticoats, that type of stuff. Um, and I put my makeup and I do my hair cause I get very warm in these outfits and I don't want to sweat while I'm doing my makeup. If one of my roommates are still here, I'm gonna try for like a side braid. I can't do it myself, so I'll need help. If they're not here, we will have a different hairstyle. So I'll be back when that's done and I have the outfit on. And we're done. Look at this. Lucy was home, so I got my braid um, with a cute little like purple scrunchie to tie it off I forgot I had. So at least that like put some purple in my hair, but I guess technically I don't know if it counts because it's down by the dress. Um, but I think the fact that these are so big and up top helps balance like the purple white up up ahead, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> and I did go with the white purse. I think with just the amount of purple I have, it was the call and I think it stands out holding it in front of the dress. I just want it noted though that I hate, I hate baby doll dresses. I hate this. And if this was in any other cut, I would get it. I think the person who invented this is a cruel, cruel person. And um, those of us who have large chests suffer. So I managed to get it on. Obviously, I think it will be better if I flatten it more next time. So that's a little note to self. <laughs> um, and I do think the A-line was the correct petticoat choice. So yay! So that was my whole process beginning to end. I will get some photos of this and you can judge what you think of the cord. All right, thank you for joining me today on this new type of video. Let me know if you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd be happy to do it again with a different outfit, maybe one that includes a blouse instead of a one piece. Who knows? But either way, hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye!